I'm inside Adobe Acrobat and I want to talk a little bit about drop down boxes or they're also known as combo boxes. Here I have a drop down box that has a list of values in it. Now one thing you'll notice is is that the drop down box always has some data in it. The thing is even when the box is empty it still has data in it which means that you can't set the field as required and make it a required field when somebody submits the form. Matter of fact, if you were to go into the properties for the field and you were to set the field to required, it wouldn't make a difference because it would always have a value in it. What I'd like to do is show you a way to make a drop down box that actually can be set as required. To do this, I'm going to use a tool called the Advanced Acroform Toolset. This toolbar up here is actually the toolset. You can go to formrouter.com and you can download this for free. There's no cost for this. Just go there and download it. It will install into Adobe Acrobat Professional or any version of Adobe Acrobat 9. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of this field that's on my form so I can start fresh. Then I'm going to go up. I'm actually going to use the tool set to create my field. So I'll go in and I'll say I want to put a state field in here. And I'm going to set this field type to be a combo box, which is the technical term for a drop down box. And I'm automatically going to inject the states. Oh, by the way, this is a pretty hot feature of this tool is that you can inject the more common collections of information you might want to put into a drop down box. Then I'm going to select required. And then I'll hit OK. When I do, it creates a drop down box. And as you can see, there's a red line around it because my Acrobat is noticing that it's set to required, but there's also no data in it. Because we're creating this combo box for you programmatically and injecting it into the PDF, it is now able to have a blank value as default, which means that somebody is forced to make a selection before they hit submit on your PDF form. So here's the rule. Go to formrouter.com, get yourself the advanced Acroform tool set, load it up so that it runs inside your Acrobat, and you'll be able to create cool objects like this to solve neat problems.